Hey, how are y'all doing today? I wanted to do a Buzz Bundle review. Um, just because I've talked about this software on my previous shows, and I know a lot of people are still asking about it and SEO Power Suite and some of the tools and whether they're worth the money, etc. So um, I wanted to do a Buzz Bundle review and kind of show you what I use it for, uh, three things I like about it, and three things I hate about it. So with that, let's get going. Okay, so uh, one thing I like is you can actually add multiple profiles if you want to. So let's say you have 10, 15, 20, 100 <laughs> Twitter accounts or whatever. You can just kind of go to town and, and, and add them uh, all that you want. You can add them either through that right there or click on personas and you can just add a persona, i.e. your business or... Um, your avatars or whatever, and you can add as many as you want, and then you add the profiles and attach them to those personas. Uh, it's kind of like a uh, if you've ever used a Browsio or you're using Ghost Browser and you have different identities or um, the new Browsio replacement, which is Chameleon, same thing, personas. Uh, and it'll store all that stuff and help you um, access those websites continuously uh, as you go. Bear in mind, the more you add in here, the more cookies and stuff you're saving, the more stuff is on your on your computer, so you will uh, burn out a lot of memory. However, as you can see, I don't do that. I've, I got, I have a well over 50, 60 personas, uh, uh, and I'm not using them in any of Buzz, Buzz Bundle, and frankly, I think that uh, while you can do it, the technology inside of the software um, doesn't really support poor the need to or the need to try you know what i mean so um because it's based off of these streams and as you see if you had a whole bunch of personas and you're running the streams and you got to change the projects <clears throat> change projects rerun it etc and when you run it and send it out to go do its thing and and find the uh, stuff it actually takes quite a bit of time like 20 30 minutes uh it'll run uh, and uh, it'll go and do the searches for your keywords or whatever stream and populate. Now, if you imagine if you're doing that for, say, 10, 15 projects or 50, uh, like I do, that, you know, it's just running it would take its all day thing. By that, the next day, you actually get to go through everything and then you kind of lose the value out of that. So, uh, one project and just limit your personas or your profiles. Uh, and then the next thing is, is these streams. And is basically what you can do is select a channel. Like you see, I got Facebook here. This is Twitter, uh, the rest of these. And you feed it some keywords, and it'll go through and find keywords. In my case, I actually feed it hashtags. Uh, and hashtags that I want to follow that are typically on the topic of that I like to talk about, um, et cetera. So... Uh, and, and that seems to work well for me. But as you see, you can have the Facebook thing in here, and, and it'll, it'll do fine. Uh, just because in in as an example here, I got this stream. It's my Facebook stream. You see it's not pulling anything out. So I'm going to go ahead and add. Uh, you can do blogs, forums, social networks, Q&As, and YouTube. Uh, but we're just going to go with Facebook because I have the, the thing in there. And... Add one keyword group to monitor social media. Let's go with um, on page SEO, and it'll go through and it'll it'll monitor that. Let me refresh it while we're doing that. Uh, and you can also add your profile. The one that I deleted was actually the uh, my profile. So, and it's supposed to show my timeline. As you remembered. Uh, before it didn't have anything in there. So we'll see what happens again uh, this time. And as a matter of fact, uh, it could even go back and reset that connection if I wanted to, but I'm just going to let it go and see what happens. Um, and you pretty much do that. You remember, so there's LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. And I'll tell you that LinkedIn, it connects like crap. Uh, I don't partake in this Russian website. I just I have never got had a use for it. And then YouTube, um, really, it's man you see your subscriptions and manage uploads. So 
um, a video manager in a blue. So that's I don't I don't know that there's a whole lot of point in that really for the for the idea of what this is right. So uh, unless you're monitoring YouTube channels and uh, you want to see or track trends and stuff, that would be cool. But for the most part, you can do that um, inside of YouTube. Uh, especially if you're following channels, you do the notifications and stuff, and then you can just match what your um, competitors are doing, which is the same thing that you would do here, uh, and it would be a lot less of the interface. But I do like to use um, the the Twitter features, as you can see. So as you see here, nothing related inside of the Facebook, and it looks like any input post to input from my profile, um, which is odd. Um so I'm just going to remove those because um, that's one of the things I don't like. The Facebook integration is horrible. It sucks. The other thing I don't like is the LinkedIn integration is horrible. It sucks. And the third thing I don't like is the blog searching is horrible. It sucks. So you can actually go in here and do blogs only um, and create a whole stream. Let's say you want to just do blogs. Um, and then uh, I want to do, let's do blogs about, uh, let's add one. We're going to add a blog and we're going to call it, uh, link building, um, building backlinks, link building, link building tips, uh, building links for ranking. And those are decently long-term uh, our long tail term. So I think we should reasonably expect you're going to see something. So we're going to add that and throw that in there. Uh, and it, it is going to go out and do a run. Now I did another run uh, in advance of hitting the record uh, because I just wanted to see if they did improve the not. And the one that I did before was all on on page optimization. Uh, and I got, Articles from like 2015, 2019. I got a bunch of articles with no comments available. It was all old, right? So it's not like a uh, a buzz. Uh, what is it? Uh, buzz, not buzz sumo. I think it is, or a the Ahrefs content tool, or even your own Feedly Pro account where you can get recent updated stuff. It was all old crap. Um, from the search engines based off of those terms. There was no new trending thing, which is horrible. Uh, and, and that's the other thing I don't like is you can't actually sort these uh, properly or teach it um, to look for just recent things uh, versus going through and looking for all that old crap. I don't want the old crap. I want to see what's new, what's trending in the market, right? And, uh, and, and I'm kind of missing out on that here. Uh, but three things I do like is one, you can actually do the uh, setting these up by uh, hashtag. So as Twitter is my keyword group, uh, and then it'll you can actually go through and, and set it up to watch that ha hashtag. And I'll go back into all of them here, and we can look at this one specifically. But you see, uh, I just set these keywords to find and, and look and monitor that hashtag in Twitter. Uh, do the same thing with Google Drop, Help a Reporter Out, Hero, and a bunch of um, other ones. Uh, and, and that works really good. So let's go to the Ask SEO one. When people use that to ask SEO questions, they're typically asking Bill Sloshky. Sloshky. He's the one that kind of adapted that, that hashtag and took it as his own. Uh, but I watch it every once in a while and see if there's some good questions on there. It just kind of helps me. Uh, engage with the community even though they're not looking for my opinion I, I give it to them anyway because it's just kind of the guy i am <laughs> uh then the, the other one is journal requests uh, i use this journal requests request and pr request and help a reporter out all for obvious reasons if you're looking for people are looking for people to talk to you uh, about our markets etc i can see those pop in uh, and, and it'll go right away. Uh, what I like to do is after I, I check it out, and the, if it's not related to me, I'll just go through here and delete it. Uh, this was easy on some of these hashtags, but you see the other ones, it's not so much because I have to do it uh, in the delete it one by one, uh, which can be kind of tedious, especially when you got 5,625 dialogues in there, and each one of these little cards is a dialogue. Uh, how do you clean out that much mess? And, and you can't. So um, a downside. 
And then you get to help a reporter out stuff. If you wanted to, you can actually reply in here uh, directly inside of the software. That system works perfectly fine. Uh, on the Ask SDO stuff, I actually do a lot of that uh, in uh, reply in here just to kind of see how things are going. Uh, let's see what this wants. I'm not a robot. Bicycles. Skip. Crosswalks. That's not a crosswalk. Uh, let's see. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Verify. Tractors. One, two, three. Verify. Bicycles. One, two, three. Verify. There. So, and you see what it's doing is that that was no doubt um, triggered by uh, going through Google search. And if it's going to use Google search, you should be able to have some more of those filters and stuff. So, uh, so at the end of the day, what can you really use this for? I use it mainly for Twitter. There's a, there's not enough other profiles in here. Like, I would like to see some Reddit in here. That would be awesome. I can monitor um, what what are the the, the subreddits and you just set them up for my tags or just watch them as they go and reply all in this one piece of software. That would be awesome. This is trash. This VK. Uh, there's no use for me in my opinion. LinkedIn doesn't work. Facebook, you saw it doesn't work. And then YouTube, I have no purpose for whatsoever. So at the end of the day, you got Twitter. And this software is not cheap. Let's look at uh, the the site. Um, Buzz Bundle. Let me bring that up. <clears throat> oh, come on. Let me bring that up. Bring this over. There's a pricing. Uh, download for free. Yeah. Order Buzz Buzz. There you go. Look, it's $199 for a year. And it it's not cheap. And I have the enterprise licenses on my stuff. Um, so is this so $399 a year? Do I get $399 a year value out of this? I don't, honestly, I don't think so. Um, I, uh, the 199, I would actually stick with that and uh, use it for the Twitter stuff, just because I, I like being able to do this. Uh, if they could fix it so that you can manage these, like if I can select all of those 5,600 and just delete all of them, that would be awesome. Uh, but you can't. Here's a good example. You can actually just read the. T tweets right in there and if you wanted to you can go ahead and sign in uh i never sign in that way i always just handle it this way um and um it's just uh to for me for the money unless you're really big on twitter and you know your market is for sure there um i would just kind of stay away from this tool uh take it take it out of your collection of seo power suite tools uh, but three things I like. One, I I like being able to organize the Twitter accounts by the hashtags. That's awesome. Two, uh, when they're manageable, the hashtags, I like being able to delete stuff. Uh, and, and, and three, I like being able to add multiple Twitter accounts if I wanted to go that route. Like if I wanted to manage all of my Twitter accounts all in the same thing then I would uh, go ahead and jump that, jump off on that. Uh, three things I don't like. Facebook doesn't work. LinkedIn doesn't work. And Reddit is not in here. Uh, and so there's there's that. The uh, I don't like that it hangs up and it takes so freaking long to do these things, like um, to run these things over and over again. It just, it's impossibly long. Uh, and it's just, it's almost like, why am I using the software when I can just go and put in, um, in the Twitter, the hashtag and just kind of read it that way and, and sort it, um, on, in the, in that manner. Uh, and so I you think you find, um, and then here, the, look at this, this is, this is redonkulous adding, fixing these things. Um. There is a service that will fill these out for you, but it costs extra money. And you know, 
it's not all about that. You can do some safety search and do some proxy rotation stuff. You see I have that implemented, and yet I'm still getting um, uh, captures it's just because it's doing a search for those blog posts. And this and its feed at the end of the day is probably going to come out with junk. So I'm going to go through and get bothered with that. And you see that the rate that it asked me to fill that out is probably the rate of the searches. So uh, I'll just stop it. Like seven plays are is look February, November. Um, let's see. I don't need that. Um, let's see. October. It's probably March, June. It's not recent stuff, and it's it's not even good sites. It's. I mean, you can go in, and we all know you can go into search results and find decent blog posts uh, in there. So this is kind of kind of a bust too. So at the end of the day, you just end up with Twitter, um, and, and it's sad to say that that they, this thing is not as good as it could be, uh, and it's kind of one of the products that. Uh, the link is STO power suite people just kind of built and forgot back in the day. This was awesome. It was dope. Um, but now that the the world is kind of built upon and there's some new stuff going on in there, you should be able to leverage it. This one's cool. If you're doing like talking about influencers and mentions and all that stuff and, uh, reaching people on your social media manager type person, this might actually be useful to you, but, uh, you can show, kind of show this off for your work. Um, but aside from that, until they do some updating stuff, it's kind of like the ultimate Twitter Twitter manager, and I'm sure there's some other better tools out there that can manage that. Uh, I haven't found them uh, to do this kind of stuff. I've tried Content Studio and Promo Republic, and I can't do the monitoring the uh, hashtags. Uh, but hopefully we'll find a, a replacement. In the meantime... Uh, the one ninety nine a year, perfectly acceptable, especially since you can only do it, use Twitter on it, and uh, the rest of it is kind of kind of horrible. A Wario, I thought about, I think I have an account for that, which is kind of weird that it's brought to you by, like this is a social media tool, promoting a social media tool, and I think I have an Wario account, I need to check that out. Uh, and see what I can do with that, maybe. Um, but at the end of the day, Buzz Bundle is a Buzz Bust. Um, if you if you're heavy on Twitter, one ninety nine worth it. If you're not, then Buzz Buzz, stay away from this tool. Um, don't buy it. Don't get a license for it. Don't renew it. And stay away from the Buzz Bundle tool from SEO PowerSpeed. All right. So I hope you appreciate. The review again. I want to do some more of these just because of the tools that I'm using at the same time. Teach how I'm using them, uh, and it'll facilitate life a whole lot better. I think for all of us, just kind of bounce ideas off of each other, etc. So, um, three things I like, three things I don't like. I need to work out on that in a presentation of that a little bit. I kind of intermix them all in uh, with everything beyond the tour, but. Uh, we'll do that again when we look at the uh, website auditor uh, tool that SEO Pirates Week created. And uh, I'll make that video pretty soon. Thanks.